Hey everyone, welcome back to QC Comics with what else but another action figure unboxing video. And today we've got from Star Wars The Black Series, The Bad Batch, we've got Tech. And Tech is the only other, other than Hunter I have, um, that I've managed to pick up. I did see a Wrecker one time at what's kind of like an after um, uh, aftermarket, kind of like a indoor flea shop type deal. Uh, and they were charging quite a bit. I think it was like 45 bucks. So I didn't want to pull the trigger on that. So, uh, I went ahead and picked up tech because I think tech is probably my favorite character from the bad batch. Uh, we've got the artwork on the side here with the glossy finish. We've got the matted finished artwork there. And of course his information and nothing on the side there. So yeah, uh, the bad batch is a series that I did enjoy. I just, I felt like a lot of the characters, you know, it followed a very kind of simple formula as far as like, you got the smart one, you've got the bad one, you've got the big strong one. Yeah, it's like, it kind of followed that, 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 um, that routine. And I was kind of hoping it would break away from that. It just really didn't. But it was enjoyable, and I understand that I'm in my 30s. <laughs> it's, it is it is made for younger, uh, probably a younger audience. But I'm a Star Wars fan, so I watched it, and I, I enjoyed what I enjoyed. And what I didn't enjoy, I just, I went, yeah, you know, you know I'm probably aged out of the, uh, the demo for, <laughs> for this show. So, but I did enjoy Tech quite a bit. He's just one of those characters that he's, like, kind of unintentionally sarcastic and kind of snooty. And he's always just <laughs> kind of making everyone else around him look stupid. So, I don't know. Something about tech. I really enjoyed tech. Although, I did enjoy Hunter as well. I, you know, I, Omega. You know, I, I enjoyed all of them to a certain extent. But tech is definitely my favorite. I don't know why I said it like that. Omega. Omega. I don't know. I don't know. Is it Omega or, or is it supposed to be an exaggerated E in the name? Somebody tell me in the comments. But anyway, you've got his pistol here. Or his blaster. And, uh... Yeah, there's some decent sculpt in there. There's a little bit of detail. It's all glossed over and just one color, so not a ton to look at. The helmet, though, is what I really wanted to see. I saw some people do some just amazing art, or uh, I could say artwork, but uh, toy photography with this tech, and the helmet looks great in photography. The eyes, I love the shine to them, and just the way you get just kind of the light bouncing off them, depending on which way he's looking. The visor does go up and down. You've got the little skull there on the side, and then on the other side as well. And there's the, the paint apps in there are all where they need to be. It's all really clean, but it is kind of scuffed and just a little bit of wear to it to make it look like, yeah, you know, he's, he's a guy that's out on the battlefield. He's getting his helmet dirty. He's scratching things up. But I don't want to waste too much time on that because there is probably a ton to talk about on this figure. There's just a lot of paint applications and different sculpt work. But here is his backpack. Not a lot to talk about here. It's fine. There's just a little bit of red paint worked into it. But overall, just not a lot to say. But it's on his back. You're not going to see it very much. I don't blame them for not going crazy on that. But uh, we'll look at the face here first, and, you know, obviously these do look a little different than the animation on the show. I really like the way he turned out. He's got a hairline like mine. Oof. We have seen better days, Tech. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the face is pretty good. It's a realistic sculpt. I like it a lot. In the package, I wasn't sure how much I was going to like it. But, yeah, you get him up close. Yeah, I think that looks... That looks pretty darn good. Uh, and then you've got the reds and the browns and the silvers worked into the chest plate here. You've got that. Oh, I was going to say the skull. Is it? Is that supposed to be the skull there? Uh, focus. Anyway, yeah, I think that's supposed to be the skull there. Yeah, I don't know. It's a small detail. Who cares? Uh, not a lot to talk about on the back as far as paint applications go. But he does have a really intricate... Uh, as far as the belt to the pouches here. And then he's got some tools hanging on the side. So you can put these different tools in his hand. You know, if, if he's if you're doing some photography and he's working on a, a lock or hammering away at something or he's trying to 
pick his way through a, or splice his way through a gate or something, you do have some accessories you can work with to kind of uh, make the, uh, complete the look, shall I say. But yet, yeah, not a lot of, you know, detail on those, just just a little bit of sculpt work and, and grooving into it, and then a little bit of black on the handle of the kind of prongs or tongs or whatever you want to call them here. Uh, and then over here, it looks like kind of like a flashlight type deal, but that does not come out. Just for aesthetics. Got a little bit of silver paint in there, but it all looks really good though. There's just a lot of little intricate details on this guy. And like, you know, it's not a hot figure or anything, but I appreciate that they went ahead and put these in there. It's just, it gives him like that, that tool belt that a tech guy like him should have. So I enjoy that a lot. I appreciate that they added that, and I didn't even notice those in package. I'm going to have to just be very careful that I do not lose those, because I don't want to take them out. I don't want to leave them there. But, yeah, I could see those getting lost very easily. Uh, and then, yeah, here's just the rest of them here, just kind of show them off. I do my, my all-important test first. And, yeah, oh, man, those move really smoothly. The ankle pivot here. A uh, little bit of wiggle from side to side. Not a ton, but it freely moves very easily. So he's going to stand right off the bat. So that's excellent. Uh, let's see with the with the shoulder pieces here. It does kind of stop him from doing like a full T pose, but he gets his arms up far enough. I think he should pose just fine. Let's see. Do the joints move? Yeah, everything moves pretty smoothly there on the elbows. Let's see the the legs here. They go back a fair amount. Not as high as some figures, but I think you'll be able to get them in any pose that you want. And then these are all very loose. It's kind of a soft rubber. So I think, yeah, you get his legs out pretty far. No problem there. And let's check out the ab crunch. He gets back. Ah, yeah, pretty good. Looks up a good way. And he can look down pretty far and doesn't really crunch much forward, but... Yeah, overall, very happy with them. I'm gonna get them posed up and we'll do our final thoughts and grade on tech. So there we have tech unboxed. What do we think about the final thoughts and the grade? Well, final thoughts, I'm very happy with the figure. I think the paint applications were all applied very cleanly. I think he looks great. He's got little details worked in that I didn't expect him to have. And overall, I can't really find any complaints. Uh, the articulation, at least on the shoulders, is a little bit limited. Not much, though. I mean, it's not enough to, to really knock the figure. And, yeah, I, I think that the head sculpt is fantastic. I love the helmet. It is a little bit squishier than most helmets, too, which I like. I feel like I'm not going to rub off a lot of the, the, the paint applications on the face when I put the helmet on and remove it. So that was a, a welcome surprise as well. And overall, I think if I'm going to give it a grade, uh, it's going to be a nine. Yeah, I, I just don't think there's enough with these Bad Batch designs. I think maybe the Wrecker could be a, a difference maker going above a nine because of all of the intricate paint on his helmet. But as far as tech goes, I just don't think there's enough there to really wow me enough to go over a nine. But nine is a solid, it's a solid grade. So I am, I'm very happy with Tech. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing some uh, photography with him. And, um, you know, I may have to complete the Bad Batch wave if I find them along the way at a decent price. I will definitely do that. Tech, uh, and I forget to do this sometimes, but if you're looking to buy them, uh, I definitely recommend them at retail, maybe a couple bucks over. I don't think any of the Bad Batch wave is worth going too crazy over. But yeah, if you can find them at retail or a couple bucks over, definitely pick them up. Uh, I would recommend it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Uh, if you enjoyed tech or any of the Bad Batch wave, you think I should pick the rest up, let me know in the comments. Uh, keep an eye out for more videos. I should have some Marvel Legends and Star Wars Black Series, and maybe some other surprises thrown in there along the way coming up soon. So thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Thank you.